sometimes we fail to see the obvious, the things that are right in front of our eyes. We don't see, we don't recognize great talents. We don't see each other. Not me. <laughs> yeah, you too, because I don't know, yours is the balls. Yeah, no, I'm not an artist. Big balls in different situations and small balls and... It, it was a time when I was painting those, not anymore. Oh. Yeah. It but evolved. I did them. Yeah. I did them. Shiny, yeah. yeah. don't do this to yourself. Why? You, you cannot talk about yourself like that because then it becomes the truth. I'm talking to... Ah, okay. It's like projecting yourself oh, okay. into the oh, sad oh, black okay, future. Okay, okay, yeah. Is there more no. coffee? Yeah, man. Yeah, that's my fucking studio. I'm a great artist. I'm, I'm happy you're impressed. I have to come and see yours too. Yeah, I don't come. I tell you good know. stories. I have plenty good stories. Seriously. Why did you decide not to be a doctor anymore, but to be an artist? You, you, yeah, the, you are with the your cameras. Back in the camera. Yeah. So we've got nowhere to sit, but we can stand like this. Shall we sit down? Or stand. No, this is okay. We can stand and talk because I will change the position of the camera anyway. Oh, okay. So I went, that question was, why did you decide not to be a doctor anymore and to become an artist? Because I always wanted to paint. I basically painted all my life since early childhood. You're a little I've girl. been painting, yes. And uh, when I uh, reached the age of thirty, I thought to myself that uh, I'm at the age of Jesus. <laughs> so it's time. I kind of had this feeling that if I don't decide now, it's going to be too late. Yeah. Because I knew that uh, for, for the things I wanted to paint, I have to learn a lot. Yes. So uh, if, it, uh, uh, the, if the studying phase will last for another 10 years, then I cannot start at the age of 50 because I'm going to be 60. Yeah, the other true, time true, I finished true. my studies. Oh my so, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. First I started in New York for two years. Yeah. And then uh, I got admitted to the Academy of Fine Arts in Budapest, uh, Hungary. And uh, it uh, also took another three years. It's a good school. It was a good college, no? Though. No. I didn't like it. Actually, uh, it, it lasts for five years, but I, I uh, escaped <laughs> in the middle of the right. third <laughs> year. <laughs> because I had this feeling that I'm wasting my time there and I didn't yeah. learn anything useful. So, uh, uh, actually, during the first two and a half years, I didn't have to pay because I was on maternity leave yes. with my second baby. Yeah, and uh, really we, we had this uh, special law in Hungary that time. If you are on maternity leave, yep. then you don't have to pay for university uh, studies. But uh, when my maternity leave was over, then uh, I was told by the uh, student office that uh, from now on I you should pay back. like 110,000 forints per month, something like That's that for... Quite a lot. Yes, a, a lot. And I also should pay for the summer months because uh, uh, the teachers have, have to eat during the summer months yeah. too. <laughs> so it would be more... You know, when I went to Israel, they didn't ask me. Interesting was you, you wear the medical coat uh -huh. and it's got the St. George Albert, Albert University. San Giorgi. No, he discovered uh, uh, vitamins. Uh, uh, he did not discover, but yeah. he crystallized it from paprika. Oh, seriously? He, he, he received Nobel Prize for, yeah. for this uh, discovery. And this is the doctor's coat? This is the doctor's coat. Uh, I, it, this, actually, uh, this is a medical student coat, yeah. not a doctor's coat. Medical, yeah, because it so, says... It says Hagato, yeah. it says university yeah. student. So Hagato yeah. actually means mm -hmm. learner. Learner, or yes. Learner, yeah. uh, That's right. 
Actually, it says, uh, listen. And I feel like a teacher with, with <laughs> she's yeah. show, showing things on That's the, true. in the face. It doesn't matter. <laughs> or you could be a music conductor too. Yeah, exactly. And pointing. Exactly. So that was the other thing I was thinking, that yes. how do you generate your ideas with a modern light switch and the Buddha... Light switch here, yeah, downstairs. Yeah, that's right. And the Buddha's on it. Yeah, Buddha's yeah. on it. It's a ready-made yeah, installation. That's, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> I just loved it. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I, I, always, I was always thinking about, why is this Buddha statue is laughing all the time? Yeah. Maybe he, he is laughing uh, on human beings, I don't know. Yep. Babies hiding underneath the, hmm. yeah. the, what looks like dancing women. So tell me the story of this painting with the women. Yeah, uh, you know, I think I, I started this uh, uh, painting before Christmas, uh, during the uh, Advent season. Um, Am I saying it right? Advent? Yes, uh, of the Advent. Season? A Advent. It's the same thing. Mm? Yeah, Advent, uh, uh, like the month before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, what is Advent about? It it's the Christ, about Christ, it's waiting, a Christian thing. Waiting, waiting. Oh, waiting. Waiting. Yeah, you're yes. quite right. Expectations. Yeah. Expectations. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, sometimes, and it is also uh, medically proven that waiting for something, the so called uh, the positive uh, uh, expectations, yeah. if you are waiting for something good, it's even more joyful than when that special thing Think arrives happens. and you, you, you yeah, get it that's actually. Right. Uh, the, the dopamine level yeah, is, is, rising, is, all the is time. rising during the ad, Advent uh, <laughs> period. And when uh, Christmas is actually there, sometimes you're a little bit disappointed uh, after yeah. the second day. Yeah, like an After Boxing Day, yes, yeah, so it's true. a kind of little depression. That, yeah. oh, this year the Christmas is over, so, <laughs> <That's very good. laughs> so the, the Advent is a, a, a kind of preparation in, in our soul for, for the Christmas. Actually I like all of them, but mm -hmm. I like that you've got the bicycles, the, the mountains that seem to go forever, and a very comfortable looking baby on a cross. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, my first idea was to <laughs> nail her. Yeah, whoa, that would have been brutal. Everything. But She's then I thought, that, oh, poor thing, I didn't yeah. have the heart to nail her on the cross. Of course, it's a girl. I didn't even think. It's a girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> even babies have genders. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yes, so That's then I decided uh, to uh, <laughs> glue her with this special bands, straps. straps or something, so it, it wouldn't look that bad. <laughs> they actually look three-dimensional, those straps. That was my uh, idea, yeah. <laughs> that they should. You know, uh, I really enjoy this uh, uh, part of, of my work when I have to, uh, wi without uh, uh, seeing something in the real, I have to know how to paint it to look real. Because yeah. of course I could yeah. I didn't have the opportunity to put a baby on a wall yeah. with yeah, straps. Right. <laughs> Actually she she was my, my neighbor's daughter. Yeah. I borrowed her yeah, for a good couple of <laughs> <laughs> a couple of that's minutes. A good idea. And uh, she was really patient. I just love the paintbrushes. So what's the story here with the hentesh, the meats, the sausage? Yeah, you can it's see. Very the, biblical. The proud product of Hungarian meat industry, <laughs> <laughs> like the sausage. And uh, I don't know what it's called in English, this part, chuluk. Um, it's a ham hock. Ham hock. Yeah, uh, and that's a uh, kolbas. The original, uh, my original problem was with the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> the God of the Old Testament. Because uh, you see that the upper part of the picture is uh, yeah. from Caravaggio's Abraham and Isaac. Yeah. Like God uh, uh, asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son who was born when, when he was already, I don't know, 120 years old. And uh, 
I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I don't no, know how yeah, old yeah, he yeah, was. But. I don't know how old he was, but he was really old, and uh, and uh, that was his only son. And uh, uh, God uh, told Abraham, if yeah. uh, he really loves him, then he would sacrifice his uh, only daughter, uh, son. And Abraham said, okay, <laughs> but the angel uh, intervened it. and uh, and uh, stopped his hand from. In my style, you have to plant things. 